If you have ever used TikTok, you've probably seen a few users using trends to get on the For You page and go viral. If you want to take advantage of those trends yourself, in this video, I will show you how to build a dashboard to help you track TikTok trends in your country very easily using Python and Google Data Studio. So let's start. Okay, so for the video, we're going to use a TikTok API by David Feeder. I've already used it in previous videos to build a TikTok new scraper. So if you want more info on how to set it up, um, you should check the video that uh, is appearing in the cards right now. So um, today, what we're going to do is that we're going to use the Get Trending API because what we're looking for are the trends in uh, on the for you page. So what I'm doing is I'm just copy pasting the example provided in the API, and I just have to tweak it a little bit and add the verify FP cookie uh, so that I'm able to uh, well use the API. Um, one uh, thing I'm also going to do is that I'm going to change uh, the loop uh, because I don't want to uh, print the description. Uh, what I want to do is to print the entire TikTok. So there we go. Uh, I'm just so building a data frame and then uh, saving the file to CSV so that we can just check uh, what are the fields that are returned and that we can see uh, what fields uh, we'd like to select. Okay, so here you can see um, all of the fields we are getting returned. So we have the video ID, the description, uh, duration, the stats, and so on and so forth. So as you can see, the results are returned in um, a dictionary. So what we're going to do is use the get method uh, to get uh, to retrieve only the fields we're interested in. So what I'm going to do is create an empty list that I'm going to call data. And uh, this is the list we are going to use to add the data we are retrieving in, uh, well, an another a new data frame. And then I'm creating a loop uh, so that I'm able to retrieve uh, the information I want from the uh, Python dictionary. Since the list of fields I'm interested in getting is pretty lengthy, I'm um, just going to do a quick copy paste. So um, as you can see, we're retrieving a lot of stuff. We're retrieving the video ID, the description, the post date, the views, the like count, the share count, and where well, we can read. So I'm not going to uh, do the entire list, but these are all the fields that we are going to get. Uh, now, the next step is to, well, um, get the fields that are not available uh, right away. So for example, the, the hashtags, um, I would love to retrieve the hashtags uh, from the description. So uh, to do this, I'm going to use a simple regular expression using the re library. And uh, all I'm going to do is just use the final uh, expression to be able to retrieve all of the hashtags. Uh, so this is pretty uh, simple. Then the next thing I want to get and then it's not available right away is the video link and um, the the link of the username. So uh, in the dataset we're getting, uh, we're getting the video ID and the username. And if we go to, uh, well, TikTok right now, you can see that uh, the structure is pretty simple. So you have uh, tiktok.com slash at username. And then uh, for the video, is uh, it's the same, but all you have to add is the video plus the video ID. Uh, so with that in mind, you're just going to be able to create a new string uh, using uh, the join function. So as you can see here, I'm uh, creating first the user link using, uh, well, the TikTok string and then the username. And uh, then, uh, I'm creating uh, the link of the video uh, using the same structure uh, that we've seen on TikTok before. And so what we're going to do next is that we're going to add all the information we've gathered in uh, so this empty list we have created before. So to do this, I'm going to use the data append method. And all I have to do is well add the different fields uh, and create uh, the name of the columns. 
Okay, so now that we have um, added all the fields to uh, the data list, we can go ahead and create a new data frame. So one thing we're going to do though, is that we're going to apply a filter uh, using the create time uh, field. So this is a date, but it's a date in a Unix um, format. So what I'm going to do, uh, since I only want to retrieve the current trends, I'm going to go ahead and uh, choose to only uh, retrieve the videos that were posted in December. I'm recording this video um, in uh, December 2021. So I only want to get the video that has been posted this month. So this site, uh, Epoch Converter, is very useful to get, well, the create time, uh, the equivalent of December 1st for IMF Unix uh, format. And so now all that we have to do is to create uh, a filter using um, the query function. So what I'm just going to do uh, is to, uh, well, um, use it in order to only uh, save in data frame the videos that were created after uh, the data frame, sorry, the, uh, after the create time, but I need to do it to only uh, get so the videos that were created after December 1st. So to do this, I'm just creating a data frame, df2. Okay, so let's run this code and see what we get. So as you can see, uh, well, we have uh, our results. Uh, because we apply a filter instead of the 10 results that we ask, we're only retrieving five results, but that's okay. And now uh, one thing that um, I'm going to do is that I want to be able to, well, be able to count uh, the hashtags that have been used across all TikToks and to be able to know which are the most common used hashtags. So to do this, I'm going to need to, um, well, create another data frame. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to flatten data first uh, and then create a new data frame. So uh, I uh, struggle, to be honest, to do this. So I will link the article that helped me figure it out. Um, so now that my data is flattened, I am creating a new data frame where I'm only getting uh, the hashtag column and the video ID column. And finally, I'm using the drop MA function to remove all the empty cells. And now I can uh, save uh, this new file to a CSV file. So let's run this code and see what we get. Okay, so um, as you can see, uh, this time we're getting only three results. And the reason why the results uh, change is that the, every time we run the code, uh, we're, um, well, winning the API again. And here, as you can see, we have the hashtags that are used in the TikToks we've seen below, but this time they're uh, like each hashtag is in a row and I can uh, associate the hashtag to the video ID in which the TikTok is used, which is great. So now that I know that everything is working as intended, I'm going to change the number of results because with 10 uh, results, uh, we don't get enough. So I'm going to change it to 500. And uh, I'm going to run the code. It's going to take a little time. And then we can uh, move on to the second part, which is the dashboard part. So to make dashboard, we're going to use Google Data Studio. Uh, I have another video on my channel on how to use it. And I will, again, uh, add it in the card below. So with Google Data Studio, you can use a variety of um, of uh, data source, but today we're going to use the CSV file. Uh, and uh, first, I'm starting by adding, well, the CSV file with all the results, all the TikTok is great. Okay. Now, the first thing I want to see are the top users. So uh, in the dataset I have of TikToks, I want to see uh, who are the users that I are like shown the most often on the foggy page because it's like a good idea of how popular they are and uh, well, uh, the fact that the TikTok wants to push their content. And then uh, what we have to do, it's um, pretty easy. Uh, just go ahead 
and uh, look for the different fields uh, we're interested in. So, okay, and everything is sorted by record count. And the record count is well the number of times they appear in data set, so the number of times uh, they are in the FIT page. And since I only want the top users, I'm just going to uh, well uh, select from return rows. Uh, so now we're going to use the same process, but for the top for the top sounds. So here same, just my layout is a little small, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, make the page. Um, a little bit more, uh, well, bigger. So here we go. And the process is the same. I'm just going to change the field. So here is going to be uh, the music author name, the music ID, the music title. And uh, same, uh, I'm going just to count the number of times they appear in the for you page. So now one thing that uh, we have is the um, in the music title, you can see the song original, uh, which in English would be original sound. And this means that the TikTok doesn't use any sound, but it's just their own sound. So I am going to remove that because, uh, well, uh, I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in the top uh, sound. So I'm going to create a filter. And uh, what this filter will do is that it will exclude well all the sounds with the music title uh, like this. So original, so original sound. Okay, so as you can see now, we have well all the top sounds. Uh, so we are sure that they are sound because it's not like original sound. And um, the next thing I'm interested in knowing uh, is uh, well the top videos. So uh, the video that got the most views and the most likes. So again, uh, the process is pretty similar to what we did before. I'm only going to change the fields. So for the videos, the fields I'm interested in would be, well, the video uh, title, the video link, the description, and so on and so forth. So let me add all of this. Okay, and the one thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to already uh, create a um, calculated field. Uh, this is one uh, very nice thing about uh, that's the joy said you need to be to then like create your own function and customize your the um, dashboard. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the image function so that I can uh, return well the cover of each TikTok and so that it can appear uh, in our dashboard. And uh, I can I just have to add my new field and as you can see now we have the cover of the TikTok. Finally uh, the last thing we're going to retrieve are the top hashtags. Uh, so for this, we're going to use a different, um, well, uh, file because as you remember, we created another file with uh, the list of the hashtags. So I'm going to use this one to, well, see what are the top hashtags among the uh, TikTok we have retrieved on the for you page. And this is pretty simple. Uh, so I'm just going to remove the video ID and I'm just going to add the record count. Uh, and I'm going to uh, sort the table by, uh, well, uh, ascending the hashtags so that I can see, well, which are the most used hashtags. So as you can see, I mean, it's not really uh, surprising, but the most used hashtags are uh, for you. Um, FYP, uh, so and so forth. Okay, so uh, this is the final result. Um, so I just added some uh, cool design and color of screen. So this video is already getting quite long, but I will include a link in the description box to another video I made about Google Data Studio so that you can learn to make your own dashboard. So if the video was helpful in any way, uh, please feel free to uh, like, share, or subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye.